Hey, and we're back. Welcome everyone. Follow Shelter has come back. We're back now. Obviously, you can see that there's quite a few new faces. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a new format. We're just going to do kind of a round table. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going to have some laughs. We're going to bust some balls. Uh, we're going to shoot the shit. And uh, might as well start off by introducing some of the new faces. First of all, you guys remember Tino. Uh, Tino was obviously with us uh, from the beginning with Follow Shelter, and now he's back. We've got two other new faces. On the top left, we have Ed. Uh, Ed is uh, Trick Trades admin as well. He's looking after Revolution Swing. He's been coming up with a lot of real badass plays. Uh, hell of a guy. And at the bottom left, we have Jackson. Jackson, uh, for those of you that have been following him on Trick Trades archives, uh, that's on Instagram and and Twitter as well. Uh, he's been logging all of the uh, trick trades, like pre-market plan of attack levels, numbers, and everything else like that for, pff, I don't even know how long. It's been well over a year now. I think we just had that one-year anniversary not too long ago. And um, yeah, it's 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 been great. It's It's been a hell of a year. Um, why don't you guys say hi? Yo. What's up, people? What's up? So we're, we're pretty excited to be back. Uh, obviously, again, doing, doing a new format. We have uh, a lot of really big news coming in this episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Uh, and then we're going to you know, shoot the shit like we, like we always do. But uh, first off, uh, I think I want to talk about what we have coming, guys. And we, got, we have something really big coming. It's going to be Trick Trades Trading Television, uh, TTTV. Uh, it's basically television for traders And what this is. It's, it's going to be available for everyone. It's going to be on YouTube, but how many of you out there and I, I'm sure you guys will, will agree as well. How many times have you been on YouTube lately, uh, especially the past like year or so that's just, it's run rampant with these, these young kids that, you know, they're just living in their mother's basement. They're, they're giving trading advice and, um, everything's just clickbaity and just like super cringy and just gross. Like how many times are we going to see, watch me uh, trade X, Y, Z and crush it, you know, like, in, yeah, the stupid thumbnails and, and everything else. I mean, it's, I don't know about you guys, I'm, myself, I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it. And it's time we bring some like adult content back into YouTube, uh, especially for traders that actually uh, are, are legitimate traders. They're, they're not just greasy snake oil salesmen trying to turn a buck. Uh, there's, there's a lot of people out there, especially in times like this, that, that want to learn um, how to do this so that they can, they can change their lives. And getting the information that's out there on YouTube right now, it, it's really hard. It's, it's hard to dig around. Like, um, I don't know. Am I, am I the only guy that, that thinks this way? I can't be. Uh, no, I mean, it's getting really cartoony. Like all the thumbnail, like literally everybody's doing thumbnails like that. And it's like, come on. It, it, it's been it, done. It, it's it's, it's getting very sales, salesman-y like. Yeah. Uh, well, everyone just wants to grow their channel mm -hmm. instead of, sorry, Jackson, what's that? Been a long time coming since uh, for someone to break the mold. I think that, that time's us. Yeah, that time right now for us. I, I think there's no better time to do that than right now because if you think about it, we're all everybody's stuck at home. Every the the, uh, the uncertainty of the future is is crazy right now. We've got the election coming up. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Uh, you know the unemployment mm -hmm. numbers came out and they were bad. So everybody is looking for a way out. Yeah, and, and I think. Uh, what we're gonna, um, what we're gonna show, is real life. What it's like to be a trader and what it takes. And this isn't about, you know, I made ten grand today. It's it's not about that at all. It's about life. It's about lifestyle, mindset, health, everything that makes a healthy lifestyle for you to be able to trade for the rest of your life. Not until next week or a month. It's all about changing your life, you know. This yeah, for, is for, forever. Nobody wants to rely yeah. on anybody. You can't rely on anybody anymore for your income. 
you have yep. to forge your own way ahead. And this is the best way to do it. And we're going to, we're going to show you what it takes and it's not hard. It just takes yep. dedication. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, this is one of the, well, this is the first time in our history that through no fault of your own. Now, a lot of people come up with, they have every excuse in the book why they can't succeed or why they haven't succeeded. And a lot of the issues, why uh, the situations that people get themselves in, it is 100% their fault. Always. You can always change your, your circumstances. You can always change your surroundings. No race, color, or creed, where you were brought up, where you live, anything. Nothing's an excuse. Now, though, this is a different story. With, with what's happened this year, it's through no fault of our own. You, people have had their livelihoods taken away from them. And I, I really think that, man, you, like, I know I'm bouncing around a little bit here, but you should read some of the emails that I've got. They are fucking heart-wrenching emails, man, that people don't know what the fuck to do. They don't know what to do, and they're, they're scared shitless. Um, they're, they're scared because if you can't provide for your family, that, that's the scariest thing in the world, man. Like, just thinking about back, like way back, um, when I was struggling, when I was trying to uh, become, become a trader and I was making changes, I went from making a really, really good income down to nothing and just learning to do something new. And, and it's a scary thought. But imagine that you don't even have your regular nine to five as I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this know, they, they don't have that nine to five. That's been taken away. You can see that there's something new coming with, with how we operate in our day-to-day -day lives. There's definitely, um, um, you know, a lot of people are trying to do their work from home. That's okay if you work in an office, but America and Canada are built on the backbone is blue collar. Blue collar people that have built these countries into what they are now. And a carpenter, a welder, a plumber, an electrician can't work from home. No. You can't remotely weld something. You can't remotely build a building, no. right? And it's, um, it's scary. And I think people really have or are about to wake up and see that they have to do things differently. And that's, that's what we want to bring. We want to, we want to bring content to people that isn't about salesmanship. It's not about watch me and my trading, right? It's about the lifestyle and not the bullshit lifestyle that you see out there. The, the true lifestyle, the, the amount of freedom that you can have, how to take care of yourself, the mentality, everything, I think. And each and every one of us is going to be a part of this, this new channel. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pumped. I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, I could tell everybody one thing. You will not fucking see me posing near a Lamborghini. That's not happening. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. the cash standing behind me. Like, oh, I get so fucking tired of seeing that. You know, unfortunately, it takes something like a pandemic to kick people in the ass. And I think now that everybody got furloughed, everybody's unemployed, not everybody, but a lot of people. A lot. I think they realized how much they were tied down by their boss and their corporation and their, and their, the place that they worked. They were controlled by the powers that be, right? Mm -hmm. So now we have this, it, it's all on perception, right? We have this amazing opportunity all this time. Now is the time to take advantage. This is never going to happen again. You're okay. never going to have this time. This is the time to take advantage of not only what we're doing, but take advantage of the time you have to pursue whatever it is you wanted to do. You're yeah. never going to have this opportunity again. No, definitely not. This, this is once in a lifetime, uh, one, once in a few lifetimes um, opportunity. And I think the, the ones that have this shit together, and have their wits about them are seeing this as an opportunity. You're seeing it as an opportunity 
to have time. Do you, you want to know what the, the biggest um, hurdle, excuse that I get all the time when people hit me up asking me about, you know, trick trades and how to get into trading and this and that. They always say their number one excuse is, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Well, <laughs> what's no your excuse? excuse now? There's no excuse now. None. Zero. And it's all the time in the world now. All the time in the world. And the thing is, like, sure, there's like things are opening back up. Man, I just I don't see it going back to normal for a very long time. Not with these politicians that we have. And I don't I don't give a fuck whether you're left or right. Both sides are fucking morons right now. The way they've handled this, they've let everybody down. It's disgusting. It really is. And people need to start taking care of themselves. They need to um, not rely on anyone. They need to find a skill that you don't rely on anyone. See, that's when I got into um, uh, welding, I opened up my own contracting company. Silly me. I did that so then I was my own boss and I didn't have to answer to anyone. That's not the case. You're always answering to someone. You have to answer to the client and you have to answer to quality control. You have to answer to safety. There's a lot of people you still need to answer to, right? With this, with the stock market, this is probably one of, and I'm hard pressed to think of any other uh, career out there where you, lit you do not answer to anyone, N nobody at, at all. You answer to yourself and that's it. And that's, that's amazing. I mean, sky's the limit on that, right? That was a huge checklist for me. Like I remember when I started really getting into this and I, and I sat down one day constantly, like going through this mental checklist of career choices I wanted to do. Like, it's like, I didn't want to answer to anybody definitely didn't want to fucking deal with the public like in a in a retail sense right so I've, I've done retail before and god they fucking just oh just deal with the public in that manner just fucking will give yeah, you the course. worst headache in the world and then i've done the construction and the masonry work and dealing with you know really nitpicky clients you know about little punch details and it's like i, I just don't want to deal with that anymore like I can't open up my own shop and sell something because I'm going to be dealing with people and dealing with returns. And it's like, it's not for me. And this industry right here, checked every, every box, like literally every box, you know? So, yeah. um, best move I've ever made hands down. It's really yeah. no strings attached too. I mean, we don't have any inventory in a sense. Um, we, the only thing we own is a laptop. We choose our own hours. We work from home. We don't have to wear a suit. We don't have customers. We don't have employees unless, I mean, you're writing service, but that's not trading. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, this is where, this is where the decisions are made, right? Because motivation is one of the hardest things for anybody to do, to get motivated and get your ass in gear and do it. And that's what this is all about. So it uh, separates the men's from the boys. You know what I mean? Definitely. You have to be motivated. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. And a lot of people don't have that. It so, seems you know. to get stuck. It, 100% it needs to get stuck. Like you yeah. put so much time in a, in, a, in a job and, you know, you see it as a career choice and the thought of leaving after you've been there, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, like it, it you know, it, it's hard for people to get, a, get around that, uh, that mental change, you know, and, and try to see. Changes, that, changes that. hard. Nobody likes it. Yeah. Nobody we're likes right, it. Everybody. We're right in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So like embrace it and, and use this time wisely. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, but you know, just to, just to circle back to uh, what we are doing. Um, uh, I'll talk about my uh, show that I'm going to be doing and then maybe we'll just go down the line, just kind of give people a heads up as to what they can expect for, from each one of the shows that are on. Uh, it's going to be five shows on, on this channel. Uh, it's going to be follow shelter. That's going to be put out every Friday. Now come September 1st. Um, this is obviously playing. This is to kind of kick it off to let people know what's going on. But then the following week 
it's going to be on Fridays. And then each one of us are going to be taking a day of the week. It's going to be uh, daily uploads, uh, weekends off. So it'll be Monday to Friday. Every week, like clockwork, you can expect content out of us. And it's not going to be fluff. This is going to be solid content. Mine uh, is going to include a lot of live trading. It's going to have, it's going to include uh, lessons, good, solid, honest lessons on what we can take away from that specific trade. I'm also going to be doing, you know, potential vlogs and, and, and basically showing people the amount of freedom that you can have, but without throwing bullshit in your face, nobody wants to see it. Um, bottom line is nobody cares, right? It's, it's about you guys. It's about your trading. It's about whether you can do it. Um, Tino, what are you going to be doing? I'm kind of going a little different route because I think what happens outside of trading is just as important as what happens when you're watching the charts. So I'm going to concentrate more on health and wellness mindset. Um, what you can do on a daily basis to improve your, yourself as a trader and as a person. Um, it's going to be really cool. Some, a lot of humor. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. It's, it's a totally different change than what you guys are all, what, what you guys have all seen on YouTube as far as trading channels go, which we really aren't. This is a lifestyle channel, you know, Definitely. that's yeah. what I'm going to be focusing on. Yeah. One of the episodes that, that Tino is going to be doing, he's going to be showing you guys, um, you know, because we sit at our desks mm -hmm. most of the day, it's, it's really sedentary and it's unhealthy in, in general, just sitting at a desk, staring at a computer screen, uh, isn't the healthiest, um, way to spend your day. Uh, yeah. A lot of people eat a lot of garbage food. Uh, they'll be drinking pop or soda, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, instead of water, They'll, they'll eat chips and candy instead of, you know, some, some raw almonds and, you know, all, all sorts of good things. He's going to show you how to prepare these snacks and yeah. uh, basically how to, how to be a healthy trader. It translates a lot. Like a lot of people don't put a lot of emphasis on health because it's something that it only catches up to us in time. Right. And we want to prepare you guys. Again, because 2020 should have kicked you in the ass. It, it should definitely yeah. show you. So that's, that's just going to be one of the episodes that he's going to be doing. I mean, he's, he's, got, he's got a lot. So it's around those, it's along those lines for, yeah. for Tino's show. I mean, there's one thing we all have in common is time and how we use it. So I'm going to concentrate on how to save you guys the most amount of time and be able to still stay healthy yeah. and, and, and be consistent and with your mind, your body, and trading too. So it's, it's all about that. It's yeah. something that you guys have never seen before. It's going to be cool. Right on. So Ed, what do you got shaking? So I'm going to be doing a kind of a mixed bag, um, showing what it's like for an average Joe to be doing this as a, a full-time profession. Um, you'll be seeing a lot of my dogs and seeing what it's like to, to deal with two German shepherds and, you know, what it entails to kind of, deal with that breed you know since they are unique and you know there are some uh challenges i would say um prone to stomach issues you know my one my my girl she has uh ibs you know so it's like to deal with a dog with a you know a medical condition like that yeah um different kind of little vlogs you know i, I i'm kind of a spur of the moment um whatever strikes me, I run with, you know, so you could have a, a vlog come at you with thoughts of the day, um, any mental struggles. There's a lot of shit, you know, that I've been through and had to push through yeah. my life to, to get where I'm at, you know? So I, I think there'd be a lot of people I could reach out, reach and, and, and touch in that way to where we, we, sh we, I'm almost certain we've shared similar struggles. I think, you know, all of us could can attest to that. Um, Definitely won't be seeing me fucking drive around in the Lamborghini, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> and definitely, you know, some some swing recaps, you know, to kind of give people, you know, some proper 
education on on swing charts and what to look for and what they should have done and and you know to, to further help progress you know this career choice you know they may make and you know just all around help people out yeah right on one of the episodes that that ed's already shot that's already in the can uh we've taken a look at and it's it's one of probably the best lessons on remounting a stop that that i've seen on on youtube for like this is free content this is this is free content and i haven't seen anything like that on youtube like that's what i'm saying guys like the the quality of content that we're going to be bringing to you um is outstanding that's one of one of the best lessons like i said that i have seen on youtube no bullshit uh, it just amazing really really good yeah really good stuff lots lots to think about um and ed is like we all are though like we're all just you know regular regular people um it's it just it, it does it it drives me nuts that so many people are so they're so pretentious they're so they they're, they're trying to be something that they're not because everyone's just trying to get that Instagram pick or that, that, that content out that makes people jealous of what they're doing and, and how they're living. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Uh, you, you can hear it in their, in their words, you can see it in their eyes and we do, we want to bring a level of reality. Um, and sophistication, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Like just, I, I've had enough of seeing those stacks of cash that it's, it's fake money and it's, it's, it's nonsense, you know? So, uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited. Jackson, what do you got on, on deck? So I'm going to be diving to the psychology. So self-education has been a cornerstone in my personal growth and something that I got into the habit of you, you hear people all the time waiting for these light bulb moments to happen. I think that that's something we can create a habit of. So Mm -hmm. something I try to do, it's kind of the idea of 1% better. Uh, I read a lot of books, listen to a lot of podcasts, uh, the mentoring classes. And what I try to do, I just try to write down one thought a day. And what I'll be doing is one, I'm pretty much just a classmate of yours. I'm not trying to preach to people, but what I'll be doing, I'll be sharing those experiences and those lessons. And then, talk about how it's affected me, what I think about it, and just hoping it it helps someone else in there. Because one idea can really just change the way we think of everything. And to be able to spark that in other people, I'm grateful for the opportunity. No, it's, it's great. I think everyone's bringing something different to the table. And yeah, like, like Jackson said, like, there's nobody here that's just trying to like, push it on to people it's it's just as real as real as it can get as as much reality as we can possibly put into this it's it's going to be the regular average true day-to-day of of four four traders and we're we're really really excited we're really excited and I, I can't stress enough that it's it's hard to even put it into words what we're trying to do here because what we're talking about right now doesn't do it justice the vision for this is disruption the vision for this is completely original and the, these aren't just youtube videos it's it's legitimate content that I, it's it's a TV channel. It's it's a TV station with four or five different channels and and our shows. And I don't know. We're we're really pumped. We're pumped, man. I think people will get the sense that you'll be able to tell that we do this for a living, and we're not making YouTube videos. Yeah. The the agenda in mind that we need the 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 views and subscribers because we're being paid by YouTube and that's our career. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. Um, that's that's another thing too. Uh, I think I'm going to turn monetization off on this. 
Um, just so then again, people don't get the wrong idea as to why we're doing this. We don't have brand deals. We don't, we're not taking the mon the monetized, uh, the ad sense. We're not taking that. It's just to truly benefit the viewer and to help change people's lives. That's what we want. That's the goal here. Um, from actual live trading where you can see the account number <clears throat> to um, your, your, your daily ins and outs, how to be healthy sitting behind the desk, but without preaching and throwing it at you. Um, you know, Jackson does a lot of, uh, I guess you could say new age type of stuff. Um, he's going to bring that to the table. Ed is one of the most realist people you're probably ever going to meet. He's just your average every guy, right? And that's what we're bringing. That's what we're bringing to the table, and I'm fucking pumped. I'm I'm so I'm so excited. I'm like excited. I yeah, <clears throat> got yeah, like every Ed in top fifteen. <laughs> Let, let's be honest here who, who doesn't want to see who doesn't want to see this no it's uh it's it's been a crazy year guys and i think people are really reaching their their breaking points you know to kind of segue away from this and you know we'll move on to something else here it's it's and wild man this year has been really wild hasn't it you know it's um we've seen stuff that we'll probably never see again i don't know no. it, it's just it's wild and you you can tell people have had enough you know i'm sure people have seen this that's that's going around right now and it's it's really it's it's crazy if you haven't seen this this little snip here um, this fellow's from Sacramento and he's had enough. And I think people are at their breaking points. Um, I'll link this below so then you guys can take a look, but I'm sure you guys have already seen it. You know, he's in a city council meeting and he's basically telling these guys people have had enough. And that's where we're at right now. He's not the only one. This isn't the only city or the only area that that's happening in. It's, it's happening everywhere. People are sick of it. Yeah. People aren't stupid, right? You know, they, they're well aware as to as what's going on. We're in an election year and this is, it's sickening what's going on. People have their, their livelihoods taken away. And, and you know, what's crazy <clears throat> is that, um, I've heard some statistics now that at first it was like 22 or 25% of all small businesses have now failed. I've heard as much as 50%. I keep getting different numbers. It doesn't matter though. The, the fact remains that people like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are losing their businesses. They're losing their shit and people have had enough. It's fucked up, man. Well, I was telling you, I had that, uh, what, a couple weeks ago, that guy that completely lost his shit. He went into a cigar shop to get cigarettes or a cigar or something like that, was told and asked to wear a mask because it's, you know, it's a mandatory thing around here. And he fucking snapped, man. He shot at the clerk. He shot in the fucking air, took off. And then three days later, had a full-blown fucking shootout with the state police because he, he just popped man like completely popped like you know dealing you know i struggling i mean from what i saw in the news struggling from you know some mental issues you know um but just really went downhill because he, he can't work because he's in construction so he's not earning an income he can't support his kid through child support and then his i think his ex don't quote me on that but was like he was getting backed up on child support, so then he's worried about getting arrested because he can't make child support payments. And then he obviously is not providing, you know, the income that he wants for his kid. And it just fucking lost it, man. Lost it, you know. But it's happening everywhere. Well, that's the fucking thing, right? Like, 
it's funny that the news pegs it as, oh, he's having some, some men, he has some mental issues. It's like, yeah, no shit. Everybody does right now. People are at their fucking breaking points. It's, yeah. it's disgusting what's going on. And it's like, you can't, can you, can you really blame the guy? Like no. people are going to hit their breaking points. And that, that was that guy's breaking point. He just wanted to go in, grab a fucking cigar, maybe take a fucking breather. And it, it's like, no, you can't. Where's your mask? It's like, no, I've had enough. Fuck this. Right. And then, and then burn the world, man. There's a lot of people don't know where to focus their, their anger and their frustration right now. So it's coming out in all these fucked up ways with like this black lives matter movement and everything else that isn't about black lives it has nothing to do with that. I mean, you have, you have these, uh, these protesters here coming into regular neighborhoods. Um, they're no longer just protesting in, in city square or town, town hall or any of that. They're going like, look at this. This is just some neighborhood. These people have nothing to do with anything. And they're telling people to wake up, wake the fuck up. So they're going in in the middle of the night, shining lights and doing this. Like this, this isn't some multi-million dollar homes or anything like you, you're going after regular people that have nothing to do with anything. It, it's disgusting. Like people don't know where to direct their anger and it's coming out in really fucked up ways. And yeah. this is bad, man. Like I, it's, and it's not stopping. Nobody's stopping it. Like this shit's been going on and on and on and on and on for months now and nobody's stopping it. The, the, right. the local politicians aren't stopping it. The feds aren't stopping it. Like, it's only going to get worse, especially during the election. It's only going to get worse. It's like the 60s all over again. What happened in the 60s? You had civil unrest. You had, uh, you, you had racial tensions. You had three assassinations. Yeah. And that hasn't happened yet. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, it's, it's, Who knows? It's, there's definitely going to be attempts. A absolutely. I, I don't see how we get through it without. Um, and, and I can even see as fucked up as it is, someone's just going to be martyrized, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know. It, and the, the, the other crazy thing is we're only a couple of few months away from the election. We, there's been no d debates. Uh, the campaign trail, there has been no campaign trail. It's crazy what's going on. Like this shit's so unheard of. It's like... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's the next couple of months are just going to be so ugly. Like yeah. social media is just going to be a cesspool, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, another thing. People need to get the fuck off social media. I mean, I go on as it's a part of, it's a part of the job. It's part of the business. It comes with the territory. It's a necessary evil. I can't stand it. I've met some really amazing people on social media, so I can't knock it a hundred percent, but it's, the, the amount of negativity and see the problem is like there's no repercussions for people's actions on social media. There's no real interaction with, with people. Um, people are safe behind their keyboards and safe through distance. People are hundreds and thousands of, of miles away from each other. So it's not like someone's going to reach through the screen and smack them. Right. So the, nobody has to worry about anything, right. About a repercussion for their action. And that's, that's, that's a major problem. The way we're communicating, the way humans are communicating with each other lately is a, is a major issue. There's no face to face. There's, there's not that connection, that real connection. And that's what we're lacking right now. And it's all through text message because people don't have the balls to say any of this in front of people. It's messed up and it's, I don't know, man. It, and it's only getting worse. It's yep. only getting worse. Yep. So much bigger than politics too. I yep. mean, it's ingrained in our human nature that we need to do work, whatever it is. We need to commit ourselves to something and it's fight or flight, but people, aren't even having the opportunity to fight, which fight would mean working for a living. Yeah. And I think people were lacking that connection and that community. We just, I think 
all of this is just a manifestation of us wanting to be a part of something, but it's coming out in really messed up ways. And I think that's something that we're providing for people to be part of a community that's actually trying to do something productive with themselves and with for other people. And it's fallout shelter in a bigger sense now. It's not just trading anymore. It's yeah. it's about people finding that place to belong and to make an impact and have a difference. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, people don't know what to do with themselves. And they, I think that's, that's a large part of it. People know that they need, they, there needs to be a change. People need to do things differently. And that's why it's coming out in these really fucked up ways. They want to be a part of something. Everybody wants to desperately be a part of something. They want to be a part of the change, but they don't know how because nobody's doing it the right way. It's coming out because you can see it's just, all of this is just due to massive, massive amounts of frustration. Right. right? And people don't know what the fuck to do with themselves. Well, it's, and, it's like, um, and, and I'm not trying to like call adults kids, but it's no different than, you know, a, a three-year-old throwing a temper tantrum because they can't control their emotions because they want something, right? Yeah. You, know, so you have all these adults going through all this, all this bullshit, you know, having trouble earning money for their families, you know, can't work in the sense that they want to, can't fucking go out to dinner in, in the ways they used to. I mean, I can't even walk into a fucking grocery store and, in, and sneeze without people looking at me. Like I, I just did the most fucking horrific thing on earth. And, uh, you know, so all of that, even, you know, as adults, all that shit builds up, you know, it's just when you get older, you learn to tolerate more and more, but it gets to a point where you lash out, you know, so essentially you have the world of adults, you know, throwing temper tantrums at times, you know, to release all that fucking frustration, you know, but. Yep. And, and you know, and plus it's, it's not even just that we also have people that you know, to take a quote from the dark night, some people just want to see the world burn. They just yeah. want to see it burn. And they're using this as it's their moment, man. Let's fucking burn it to the ground. Fuck everyone. Right. Yeah. My fucking mommy didn't hug me enough and I'm going to burn it to the ground because I can right now, man, it, it sickens me what's going on in uh, the Pacific Northwest specifically in Portland. I don't understand how it's going on, how nobody's stepping in. Could you imagine living in that city right now? And you, you would be wondering, what the fuck is going on? Where are the cops? Where are the politicians? Where are the people putting a stop to this? Like, and then they're going to wonder why someone's going to go out and mow people down. It's going to happen. People are right at that breaking point and it needs to change. Something really needs to change. People need to cut this shit out, man. They need to cut this shit out. They need to take ownership. Um, you know, for those of you that haven't read extreme ownership, go, go do that. Go read that. Go do yourself a favor. People need to start taking ownership. It, it's, not, it's not because of the color of your skin. Or it's not because of where you, were, where you were raised. Those are fucking excuses. They're excuses. There's, there's no difference between every human being that's out there, especially like I live in Central America now, man. And you want to talk about the lack of opportunity? When you come from Canada or the United States, there is no excuse, no excuse I would ever be willing to take as to the, the amount of opportunity that's there for you, no matter the color of your skin. I don't give a shit where you're from, what color you are, the neighborhood you grew up in, anything. If you want to see how the other half lives and the lack of opportunity, Come down to Central America, open your fucking eyes. And these people that live down here, man, I'll, I'll tell you guys a story. And I, I told this in the room. So uh, Chrissy was talking with our housekeeper, Dighty, and 
Didi was, we, we've got some, some extra work for her. So we're going to pay her more and this and that. Um, so she was super, super excited. So she's telling Chrissy the reason why she's so excited is that she can finally save up enough to buy a refrigerator. Now there was some communication breakdown there because it's going through Google translate and everything else. So Chrissy didn't know exactly what she was getting at, but that was, that's her dream. Her dream is to own something to keep her meat from spoiling a refrigerator. Now, obviously we've, we've given her a refrigerator. We have like three or four of the fucking things at the house. So we've, we've solved that issue. Think about that guys. Think about that. Your fucking problems are nonsense. They're nonsensical problems. When you see something like that, or you hear something like that, it really puts things into perspective. Your dream, your big dream is to own a refrigerator, right? Like, come on guys. Like things are not in your way. The only thing that's in your way is yourself, period. End of story and a discussion. There isn't that opportunity down here in Central America, right? In the States and in Canada, the UK, all, there is. That opportunity is there. It's right there. It's right outside your front door. The only thing that stops you is you. That's it. That's it. It's, it's such a simple solution, but it's the hardest. It's the hardest to actually do because people are afraid. They're, they're afraid to get off their fucking asses. They're, they're afraid to step outside the realm of norm, of normal, right? Because we get told to work the nine to five, man. Be, be good little sheep. Go, go work your nine to five. People are so afraid. And when you make the change to do what we are doing, becoming traders, people are going to call you fucking crazy. They're going to call you stupid. They're going to call you a gambler. I went through all of that. Do you know how nice it is to go back years later and fucking make people eat their words, man? Like that's one of, and yeah, it's not a healthy uh, thing, but I'll tell you what, it's one of the nicest things. It, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. And like I said, I admit, admittedly, it's not the most healthy thing to um, have on your list as to why you're doing this and what drives you to succeed. But I'll tell you what, sometimes that I told you so, it's pretty fucking nice, man. It helps a little bit. <laughs> it does. There's people it's possible too, though. That's the thing. A lot of them probably just doubted themselves and they didn't want to see you get hurt. Yeah. I mean, it might have come from good intentions. and But to show them, be like, hey, look, I did this and I'm not any different from you. You can do it too. But that's the thing. Like, If you're watching this right now, you have an opportunity to improve your life and the lives of others. That's a simple thing. We have the technology. I don't think people realize. To get work. To so point. many people don't have access to this stuff, but we do. How, yeah. how do people think any of us started? Internet. Yeah. Internet. It, the internet, like there is no, like what's the word I'm looking for? Just everyone, if you have access to it, you're not gonna be rejected from the internet because of what you look like or where you came from. It's yeah. accessible to everybody. And yeah. there's so much opportunity out there. And I think it's just abused a lot. And I think it's just, it is what it is, I guess. So it's just afraid of choice. It's a choice. <clears throat> yeah. What's that, Ed? I think it's just because everybody's, a lot of people are just fearful of, of rejection in, in one shape or form, right? You know, your story with the housekeeper. And her big dream was, you know, a refrigerator. Yeah. The concept is no different than, you know, what your dreams were or what Jackson's or Tino's yeah. or anybody's dreams are. It's just the bigger your dream is, the bigger the struggles to get there, right? Yeah. But, you know, the, the idea and the concept and, and everything that you need to do to, to start having a dream and then, you know, see it come to fruition is no different. It's just you know, what level of mental anguish are you prepared to take to get to that finishing point based on how big of a dream that you have, right? If your dream is to own a fucking $500,000, you know, 
sports car, it's doable. Everybody has the potential to fucking do that one way or another. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I, everybody, I believe everybody on this earth is born with all the same potential, the, the, um, the same talents. Um, people will have more struggles depending on where they're at, right? And then, you know, your, your, your housekeeper would have more of a struggle to get to, you know, a, a sports car of that nature than, you know, somebody, you know, making 100K a year in the States. But the, the concept is there. And it, I think a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit that they have the potential to do whatever they want to do. And then getting back to what you were saying, the only thing that can get getting your way is yourself at the end of the day. 100%. And that's it. And that's, that's what we're doing here. We're trying, to, we're trying to show people that it is absolutely doable without all the bells and whistles. This is doable. This is doable. We are four men that are genuinely doing this. This is real. This is happening. These aren't demo accounts. These aren't, this is, there's nothing fake about this. This is the reality and it's doable for all. Okay. It's doable. And I, th I think on that note, uh, unless you guys have anything else, maybe we'll wrap this session up. I, I really just wanted to let people know what we have on the go and the, what we're trying to do. Right. I'm good. Everyone's good. Yeah. I'm excited for the new journey and I'm excited for people to be a part of it. It's Hope be everybody great. out there is excited. Yeah. As, as we are, because this is something that you've never seen before. It's going to, it's going to change your lives. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, no, everything that we've said does not hit the nail on the head that we're trying to express and we're trying to do with this new, this creation of this new channel. And it is, it's, it's hard to put into words the vision, but there is a vision. This isn't just random. There's a vision here. And I want you guys to come along for the ride. That's going to be exciting and you're going to be better for it. I guarantee it. So thanks everyone. Peace everybody. We'll talk soon. Later. Hey guys. Watching guys.